and teachers and my dear friends. I welcome you all for today's career counseling session. In this session, our distinguished resource person will share expertise on various career options which help us to make informed decision about our future. Additionally, we will receive practical tips on managing stress during board exam, ensuring a balanced and focused approach. We appreciate your active participation and look forward to constructive and empowering session at PIS Karan today. Now I request Senior Coordinator Mr. Rohit Kulkarni sir to introduce today's resource person. Thank you sir. Happy, happy afternoon to, to all. I am Mr. Rohit Dattatre Kulkarni, Senior Secondary Coordinator of this school, PIS Karan. It's my great pleasure to introduce our today's speaker who is not only who is not going to guide us only in one particular area that is IITs, but also he is going to focus on the current and the future career options, the expectations, the challenges, and the stress faced by the today's students. The resource person I am introducing today is Principal Professor Vinay Kulkarni sir. He has done his Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering subject in the year 2000 from Shivaji University. He has done his postgraduate as MSc Engineering in 2003 from the prestigious Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, which is almost equivalent to IIT. In 2008, Sir got his doctorate in the in the uh, institution of Indian Institute of Science, same institution, Bangalore. From 2008 to 2015, Sir worked as an assistant professor in India's premier institution, that is Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. From 2015 to 2019, he worked as an associate professor in the same Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. From 2019 till 2023, as a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in the same Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. Sir has published more than 90 plus journal articles, two book chapters, 100 conference proceedings. He has got over 18H index. He has over 1,157 citations. He has expertise in high enthalpy flows, scramjet engine, experimental aerodynamics, measurement science, computational fluid dynamics, simulations, CFD simulations, IC engine, wind and hydro turbines, and the list goes on. Sir has guided more than 45 plus students in the field of MTech. He has guided more than 15 students for PhD. Sir has done various research projects of DRDO, ISRO, and various government institutions. Recently, Sir has shifted from Guwahati and he has joined as a principal of Government Engineering College, Karan. Thank you so much, Sir, for coming here. I hope we will have a wonderful interaction during the session. So, without further delay, let me welcome our today's eminent scholar with a big round of applause. I request respected principal sir to felicitate our today's guest with Sakli and Kutani. Today's guest and the speaker, Dr. Principal Professor Vinay Kulkarni sir. You must have come to know that how many degrees he is having. PhD scholars are studying under him and it will be a great pleasure to interact with him. The vast experience uh, he is having uh, in the field of engineering and being the professor of one of the renowned institute, IIT, you can understand that uh, many of us may not have seen the campus from outside of the IIT, but he was there for years together. And under him, many students they got uh, M Tech, they got B Tech, and they reached to the heights. Is it? And today is the occasion where we can say that. Uh, Today, uh, Vegan Jayanti is also here. So, this new you are, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can be guided uh, under your guidance and they can also reach to that top. So with that uh, idea, we have arranged a mastery dialogue uh, with you. Our students are curious to know about IIT. Uh, means we know general things about IIT, but what is specific IIT? What are the other careers related to the IIT? So they will be asking you questions. So without coming in between you and them, let us start the session uh, with the students. So thank you. Thank you. So without any further delay, I will hand over the mic to the respected sir. No sir, not an issue. Yes, sir. That will be good. So I would like to thank the principal sir for this invitation and it's Actually, highest pleasure for me to meet you all youth on the National Youth Day. Plus, we have Jamata Day as well, so all our Jamata Day who are present. So, I'm happy for that, so that I could interact uh, the experience which I am having. Uh, let me tell you the brief first. What do uh, I would like to tell you first, and then I will take questions from your side. So here, as sir has told that people have interest towards IITs and joining IITs for courses. So there, I would like to first brief you what that system is all about. So in nutshell, there are around 23 IITs all over India. Mostly every state has an IIT. Uh, students take admission in IITs are through JE advanced exam. But JE advanced exam is having a filter as JE mains exam. So uh, suppose uh, 10 lakh students appear in JE mains, out of which uh, based on some <coughs> marks and some other constraints, around statistically 2 lakh plus students are allowed to give the JE advanced exam. And based on the merits of the students of JE advanced exam, they take admission in those 23 places. Each place has distinguished traits, distinguished advantages and each college has a specific plus or more than that specific thing as uh, being resourceful for the nation. So that includes the alumni of that college, that includes the presence of that college, that includes the resources like faculties and that includes the existing students of each college. So then the point over here is that there are many courses running in many IITs. So when you people appear for the exam in the scroll down list, you will say that. Not the typical branches what we know about like mechanical, civil, electric. No, it's not like that. Beyond that, there are many courses. And not all courses are only BTEC. There are courses beyond BTEC also for admission. <coughs> And then there are now courses with post-COVID effect. The courses are started at online mode also, not in the physical sense. However, that's not the point. That should not be the point of our discussion at this moment. Since we want to be uh, getting the heat before becoming a jewel. So then only the world will become a jewel if we face that heat. So it's okay, fine. And then there will be curriculum of number of years of four or depending upon the course what the student would admit to, student would have to undergo the process what I feel which is very much getting followed over here as well, that's continuous evaluation. That you will have to appear certain exams, but that there are certain kind of exams which are surprise quizzes as well. So where the teacher will surprise you. You are saying that have a sit down and all, teach you for 5 minutes and then declare that okay, today we will have a quiz on chapter number 3. So it is possible over there. So the continuous evaluation does exist over there and it continues for the complete curriculum of the course and the students complete their courses, whatever they have registered. Then there, there is a session of placement, a student wish to uh, continue his career in the industry. So that starts at the end of third semester, third year. 
Mm, and then there are sessions like internships for the students, but those are not in the till time they are not evaluated in the curriculum. They are in the between two years, between third year and fourth year. Those vacations, summer vacations. There are propositions to get internship extended within the working semester so that students should get more exposure to the requirements which are there in the society, to the government, to the industry and to the every stakeholder of the nation. So this is my brief of complete gist about the system which is IIT. Beyond IIT also, there are NITs, there are one per state, there are 30 NITs, students who take admission to NITs through JE mains. <laughs> NITs admission don't demand. Admission is through JE mains. The students who uh, wish to take accordingly. So, but there are constraints on those admissions since they are based on state. So there are some constraints. I am not much aware about those constraints. And these constraints and all they are published always a year before. So whenever you wish to take admission, they are called as information brochures. When admissions are there next year, the brochure will be published a day before, a year before, where students and parents would know what are the constraints for admission next year. Then the admission will be, these are, but again, these are not only national institutes, there are other national institutes as well. There are national institutes for science education and research, they are called as ICES. Okay, so they are towards science, these are what we told, I told about IIT, NIT, they are towards engineering. But mind this point that each science department has an engineering degree in IIT. Physics will have engineering, physics, chemistry will have science and technology, uh, chemistry, chemistry and technology, and maths will have multiple degrees with the change in time. Degrees like sophistical, degrees like maths and computing, degrees like data science. Beyond the engineering degree like mechanical civil But when you think about the colleges like ICER, there are degrees belonging to the science discipline with advanced courses, with advanced uh, syllabus and maybe interdisciplinary. For that, you will have to undergo with their brochures and their requirements. Then this is again part. There are some more institutes like IIST, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, founded by ISRO for admission for satellite and space technologies. That institute also is a centrally funded institute. Centrally means government of India support exists exists for those running of colleges. And these colleges are practically autonomous colleges and they are universities in their own. They are for super specializations and specializations in PhD. So BTEC, BSc, MTEC, MSc and PhD, MPhil, all the degrees which are there beyond and beyond 12th of ours. We are HSC awards. They are awarded over there to the candidates who excel. And then there are certain other centrally funded institutes, some in some discrete places of India. I will not uh, give in detail about that. But these are this is national situation. This is what it happens in India. And when we come to Maharashtra, I guess I'm junior to in Maharashtra in that sense. So I guess there will be CET kind of exam through which students get admission in engineering colleges in engineering disciplines. Okay, so uh, the thing for which I am standing over here, the gist of which has already been delivered. Now all your questions are welcome. As per what plan or what, as per what this is, not a prescription. Okay, so I hope I have answered your question. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, sir. Myself, Puri Samri from 12. My question is, as per you said, there are many branches in IIT. So, other than technology and data science, what are the other branches in which there will be a full scope in upcoming years, as per your perspective? Okay. Okay. Now, point is that, uh, I hope uh, you would have seen, uh, some people may uh, come from Sangli and Viras area. Can we distinguish where is Sangli and Jinn and where is Viras starting? We can't. Same thing is for people in children Pune. We don't know where it is ending. So the, the times have come like this for population. They have come for the engineering. 
So the barricades are not non-existing in these days. However, every it's, it has become more like maths. Maths is there in chemistry, maths is there in physics, partially maths will come in biology. So engineering has got existence of few things in every engineering these days, and that includes data science, and that includes computational science. And data science includes everything for me, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data science. This is an umbrella, and this umbrella is again having a bigger umbrella of maths and computing. So, which are the subject of statistics, mean, median, more, and more than that statistics. So, those are the things which are the current engineering. Let me go back and history. The first industrial revolution was for 150 years. The steam power engine was developed and used and all, all, all. It took 150 years to have second industrial revolution. Now industrial revolutions happen in five years. So we are in, the, in an era where things are rapidly changing. So underlying answer for your fact is that you have to remain updated about your future, which where you are. Current trends I will tell is that these data science and maths and computing, these are the fields which are more adapted and they are requiring each engineer. That's why there are more things needed. But then there are advances in each engineering, like civil engineering has changed now. E-mobility, mechanical engineering has changed. E-mobility is a concept, electric vehicles, electric trains, trams, everything. So this has lost two branches like civil and mechanical. It has come up as EOB. Mechatronics, robotics, mixed branch. But what I propose for longer duration is communication, which is supposed to be remaining in the society for at least 10-15 years. Whatever you do, you will have to communicate. Satellite communicates, brain also communicates. I am also communicating, radio also communicates. So everything communicates. So pacemaker also communicates. So the fact is communication is a field for me which is bit longer than what, but it will evolve. The communication which was there 10 years back, the 2G doesn't exist now. We are in the era of 6G. So communication will evolve. So never the, never the engineering here or not should be taken as I have I had heard by one gentleman saying that sometime will come in line that uh, degree certificates will have expiry dates. So it may come. Visors have to. So the fact is that again it should not remain like prescription. So you have to take the pill, cure yourself, and it should be routine. That as what you people read newspapers, as what you people get updated with the surroundings. As what you people have apps about weather and how you get so today it will be raining and all. So you are professional, you should be updated on You are gone on the laws of our grandparents and parents when they, they started in one field and then painted in the same region. It would not happen. If it is happening for an individual, it, it is his or her luck. But don't prepare for that luck. Prepare for the hard attack. So smoother will be a take home. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir, thank you. Sir, could you express your thoughts on the difficulty level of JE exams and the unexpected challenges you faced? Okay. <coughs> Actually, these, these are in RTIs also. Mm, principal sir would know some questions are never answered. So <laughs> difficulty level is something which I although was involved in the process I would not answer completely. But what I would try to tell you is that uh, there is a task to IIT teachers to make the paper new. New. Whether it is difficult is depending upon one's perception. A star in the sky is new for me but not for a cosmologist. Okay, the cosmologist every day sees the sky. For him or her, the sky is not. So the, the particular point is that the same question may be phrased in a different word. The same question 
uh, instead of underlining or instead of <coughs> filling the blanks, same question will come as um, match the quality. But you, you would have to, you would have bought the shoes of football and you are told to play it. So don't do that. Uh, means just play for a game and be a sportsman. This is what the fact is about the toughness of the So for toughness of the exam, I will not tell that it is tougher for you bright students. Prepare for the syllabus. Mainly what I can tell you openly is that prepare for NCRT syllabus. And then, then there is many things. Second thing is that uh, basically if you openly see the J mains and J advanced they declare their syllabus and that is having major component of NCRT. So 12th standard syllabus of NCRT CJC that is only included for there. Very good. Second thing is that difficulty level is one thing, but other is what you people will be taught over the period of two years is that which question to be attempted first. So that is the exam dynamics you will have to work upon. See, that is different thing. Questions are tougher and simpler is a separate basket we are talking about. But first scoring and all those marking for that. So tougher questions you may keep it at whatever it is it would be taught to you. But I am not telling that questions will be tough for the given syllabus since questions are never out of the syllabus. The point is that they are newly framed questions. The frame of the questions will be new. Okay, so the thing is the way uh, the way cricket is played the same way that baseball will be. Bats are being. Rules are being. But the magic is similar. Okay. So think while learning, think in diverse way or something. Then you can capture everything. So for toughness, I can't disclose or tell more than this. Sir, so at some point in your life, you face some difficulties. So what will you do if you face that? Okay. So, I see. Difficulty in the sense that what will happen, I will tell you, yeah, then what I have personally experienced and you have observed. We try to measure the success like food prepared. Success is not like food prepared. Food prepared means once the food is prepared, like what type of vegetable is prepared, paratha is prepared, it smells excellent. So what we so once the results are out, toppers are declared, announced, and everything is done, so that is major as success. So success doesn't hold here. Success is like Ayurvedic medicines beyond the experiments. So you have to come up persistently. So getting an admission or not is not major of success for If you are an engineer, how good engineer you are? That is the major of success. What is the contribution of yours to the society? But for that persistence is important. And for that learning it is important. For that, see there are two types of suites. So there are two types of intelligence systems. One type of suite is like you lecture, which isolatedly is not a suite. You are putting it in the sugar, sugar syrup, so it is sweet. And some sweets are like let them. Internally they are sweet. So intelligence is of those both kinds and both are accepted. I am not an intelligent person. Ah, but I am to love them. So I am always sweet. No problem. Point is this for me that you people don't measure success when people try to measure. Define measurement on your own. Okay. It's not like going to the mall and telling that I want M side shirt and then they are also giving them both M same oh, but this doesn't work out in life this doesn't work out in life your measurement M for your success is different from other measurement M for their success so those M's are different and don't count if you don't count then two things will happen you will not get oral and you will not get degrees you should have your own measure you know your strength See, for this only, the point what will happen? If somebody in the cricket appears in the batting very first, that doesn't make him a batsman. He has to score in 10 matches. Then only in 11th match he will be viewed as batsman by the viewers. Otherwise, captain is telling go first means he is a batsman. It doesn't work out. So, getting an admission, 
And everybody thinking that this is a success. This doesn't work out as successful. So, so be persistent in your life. Keep the ability on. And take hundred and hundred challenges. So, then what will happen? Each hundred challenge will increase your potential. So, come out of your calamities. See, have you ever seen a spider remaining in his web for life long? No. Have you seen a uh, sparrow remaining in its nest for life long? Then why do we remain in our house for life long? We are having a life of so conveniences. We have to break them and create new conveniences. And if intelligence creates new convenience, the other people who don't have that way physical ability or mental ability will get benefit. So it's our social responsibility to be persistent. Okay, I hope partially answer. So, what will be your advice to future aspirants for JWE and NEET exams based on your experience? Okay. Uh, I can't claim I have experience of need by any means, uh, but uh, the fact is that yes, this is also counted as one of the toughest exams in India for medical admission and obviously J is also for engineering. Um, so for these two aspirants, if I don't know your standard, but if you are in 6, 7, 8 standard, then when you are taking a call that you want to appear, then see what is the next five to ten years. For you, my answer might not suit at this moment since the, the, the times are changing very much. So my answer more suits for engineering. Medical is okay. Medical is a lifelong. It was existing ten thousand years back and it will exist for ten thousand. Technology in medicine will change. And if a doctor doesn't acquaint himself or herself with the technology again, we'll have a trouble. So, but the science of medicine will remain, so for that I may not have much comment. With my personal understanding, I have come into this. But for engineering, I don't support that 5th and 6th standard students should start seeing the dreams of engineering at his age. Take a pause. We have sufficient time, 2 3 years. So, after two, it's like watching a movie in TV, we have to spend 500 rupees. We are already subscribed for Prime. It will come on Prime in 2 months. So you say, man, you will be there, you say. <laughs> so don't, if you start learning about six standard then you will end up in investing something mentally and financially. And after four years, oh, that doesn't work out. It has already come on price. So the point is just the situation and the image. See that fisherman doesn't put the nest net anywhere. He knows there's a fish. So you put the net. When you understand there is a fish and possibly for a bigger fish. So, answer is, I don't know if I answered you in your capabilities or my expertise, but the point is, if somebody is aspiring for engineering, I prepare them or I expect them at least around 10th. We know 10th, enjoy. Schools are best. And after 10th, I don't mean schools are not best. After that, I am telling that you can dream. Since now it is like, it is like making it leave your mother will make it dinner. So for that she will make the battery a day before, not one month before. So like when you are in tenth, prepare your battery. Okay, is that what I am about to convey? Sir, I have one question. Uh, they will ask me some questions. Uh, is it you must have come across the sweats, those who are coming from some uh, institution as the schools, you must be getting this point from some factors. Sorry, I am using that word, no. educational factors. No. Is it? So there, from there, have you found any difference in the student, those who are, who are preparing by their own and those who are preparing by their institutes? Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. So there are two types of lies. One lie about the circus, and one line of gender. So obviously there are two distinctions. So line from circus, you know what is his ability and capability, and what line from gender he can do. So we want to be genuine. Okay, so that's what I would answer for 
I'm not tagging anybody under this, but we generally means what I mean is we should have that dynamism every time in our life where we should find out our own prey and we should eat our own prey. Somebody should not give me my prey. Okay, so it should not happen that I am getting breakfast from home, yes. I am getting tiffin from my mother. It, it's okay, it's well done. But what sir's question is very prominent, which I am actually consistently thinking and it has to be understood between the lines that learnability is important means learnability is lifelong thing and mainly it is getting taught in schools. And in the schools if you see, I will temple where everything is getting taught. Means you are getting taught from football, from maths, physics, chemistry, and then you are getting arts, teachers, maybe singing, and we all know. So for me, see, I will tell you one more thing. I will answer you sir for one more thing. That our school syllabi are in one format, and our engineering hard school syllabus also of similar things. We are having courses from humanity. Every semester there will be one or two courses from humanity where students will be again taught English, again taught something like uh, patents, taught will be, there will, there will be taught like law, basis of law. These courses will make them more human. Other courses are making you engineer. And then there are compulsions in our IIDs also that after 530 you have to take a sport or you have to join some MCC. So, we don't want anybody to be tagged. See, when pattern is prepared, mother has a right to make those already. So, no, nobody should be. So, for me, students are prepared. So, they should not be definitely said this is only utility pattern. You cannot make those out of it. It's not correct. You should be having every wing of your feathers open. Every time. You never know. We are not practiced to have sports engineering. India is not much practiced for sports medicine. A good sportsman in your school, he becomes a doctor. I wish him to become a sports doctor. Okay. I wish him or her to become a sports engineer. How cricket ball should be made, how bat should be made, how racket should be made. There is engineering in it. How swimmers should swim. There is engineering in it. So actually it happens in Western world. We more differently evolved at this moment for academic. But this is what is expected when it is, everything is taught to you in the school. Everything is taught to you in the school means what? It's like Indian meat, you have roti, chapati, rice, dal. It's not burger, it's not subway. So life is everything. So for me, schooling or classroom teaching is more important. And that's why if you enter in the schools and colleges, many myths do exist that once J is done, things are done. But then they encounter, the student and students encounter a problem of 75% compulsory presently and among which 25% in medical certificate. And then it's a residential college and then you can't go anywhere. So these things are never taught or told anywhere. So what my point is that things are always existing beyond 12 classes. Things will exist. So we have to be prepared for that. For the how one will be prepared? One will be prepared if you do need schooling. In the schools, everything is taught. So you are taught everything. There is no problem. But beyond intelligence or food for breath, mental health is also important. By having all these activities, your mental health is strong. You can take harder and harder goals. Harder is in one sense. For me 80% is hard, for somebody 99 will be smooth. So if I am taking harder goal of 80, 80, 80 today, tomorrow I will be fit for 90. Okay. So the point is, I urge this point for myself in my personal capacity that um, for becoming a better human, um, classroom teaching is very important, and schooling is very important, college and junior colleges are very important. So these kind of things are important. Okay. I'm just going to Sir, good morning. Uh, good, 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 good afternoon. Sorry. Uh, so as we all know, we have uh, you have many degrees. But uh, my question is, how do you strike the balance between preparation, academic preparation, and then 
maintaining the overall balance uh, of your uh, well-being in the in intense uh, preparation phase. So you are talking about preparation in the past. Yes. Okay. So regarding that preparation, in the in the times of preparation, you will be more focused on. So you will be doing. We will be balancing only a few things. Discreetly, we will balance. I am not telling that the balance which I am trying to tell is an aggregate balance in life. That balance might not happen. That everybody has to walk. That or we have to go by the left hand side of the road. That doesn't imply to the ambulance. It said it has an influence. So there are some emergent patches in our life where you have to focus on few things. In the night, we have to sleep only. So we have to study. So, the point is when there is a phase of preparation for certain exam, you have to prepare for that exam. But taking food and discreetly attending, I might be overheard at this moment, but please attend family functions. If at all your parents discreet, attend discreetly. Discreetly means not every Tuesday, not every Monday. Discreetly, if you feel happy today having done, but there is a family function in the neighbor's house, somewhere in the society, attend it. Attend it. This is what it is going to help you in life. Since that is going to make you better human. Beyond engineering, beyond medical, we have to start for better human. And with highest values of usefulness. So, so attend those function discreetly, don't take it in literal word, discreet is one's own judgment and this is one thing. And then uh, try to invest some time in mental health by maybe meditation, by yoga, if some students do Kathak Bharat Nakyam, those kind of things. Again, with discreet sense, in those one, hour, one year or so, strength, you may not be that focusing, but do it for your mental health. Do it. But this thing. Eleven, you can have different ways. But twelve, it, it will come when you are on fifth year and all. So for that you have to do it, do few things for your mental health. And if your mental health is fine, you will be more persistent in your life. <coughs> so for that this thing are more important. But I I am not going to anytime tell you to be focused anywhere. You will have imbalance. Imbalances do exist, and they are. But with imbalance, we have to take just a care that we should not be casual. We should be uh, basically the same seriousness should exist with us. So, hope I answered. Okay. So, were there any specific exam strategies or techniques? Very fine, effective during the actual daily examinations. Okay, I am not master of that. Um, I am a teacher in the classroom where, see, I might train myself in J. Since I would like one question more and then I will remain in that for some time, but exam dynamics is running differently. So I can't comment on your answer. You better. Be in touch with the people on the groups who are more with that, who will tell you about exam dynamics. Exam dynamics has less to do with subject. Okay, so physics, the, I, this is universal. But you go to a physics person and go to a 12th person who is appearing for physics. Physics teacher will have 25 years of experience. And as 12th student, I feel a pre well prepared 12th student might be faster than the physics teacher in solving. Since the, the kind of knowledge, it's like finding a needle in the house. The physics person, he's having a whole class with him. He has to go to that. And he will not have a derived uh, formula which you already have on your desktop. He, he or she will not have. He will derive from first principles. Okay, let me be the object. Uh, going with velocity. So that time you will say, no, no, we square it, but we square the prices. He will not have that. He might not have it. He has one in front of the end. And you are in class. So the point is that people like us might not die during time, who are classical teachers. 
for that you will have that and then there is no harm in it. It's a competition. And it's in the competition if I am not like see there are doctors, good doctors will tell that I cannot do your I am not an expert of this. I, I have not encountered a patient of this kind. I can let us try for a week that like that good doctor should tell. So I feel that I should surrender here saying I am not the person of this kind of guidance. Yeah. You see, with your groups, you are corresponding with them. You can better guide them. Then follow and judge. Don't believe. And judge. And then decide. Ah, then judge and decide. Judge and decide. So you change. Ultimately, the recipient is you. You are the recipient. So you should receive best. 50 rupees mobile cover, if it is wrong, we return it to Flipkart. And why? Why that device which is wrong with your choice should be retained with us? Jeff, can you? Okay. Oh, sir, actually it's been going on since ages that my son will be a doctor, my doctor will, uh, my daughter will be a doctor. I want to know about uh, fields beyond engineering and doctor. Okay, this is an excellent question. Uh, now, beyond engineering, uh, what in my personal capacity I have felt is that there are two fields. Okay, one is finance in general. I am not banking in economics and finance in general and law. These two are the fields which are like maths. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Whatever you try to do, you will have trade. And whatever you try to do, you will have legal angle to it. So, finance and legality are the two fields which do exist in each field. So, if at all somebody doesn't want to become a, become an engineer, he or she always can enter in the engineering companies with law background and with finance background and can get bigger salaries than engineers. Okay, so it is indeed possible, indeed possible. So, see many a times, that's why I told in one of the answers, your aim should be different from others. So, others spectacles we are using, so that's not our aim. Our aim is different. So, these are the things. Hospitality, I will tell in a bigger perspective, I don't know, seniors might understand the e economics of a country is also built based upon hospitality industry like hotels, lodges, lawns, uh, event management industries, huge scope, huge scope. If you see in terms of GDP, not amount of GDP does exist in these kind of industries and thanks to the current changes, now people are, have got, now there are Indian institutes of hotel management. Excellent. Their exams are equally tough. Their fees are equal to the engineering and medical exams. And their outcomes are equally good. So, Indian Institute of Hotel Management, IIHN. There are Indian institutes like IIT. So, those institutes do exist. Their outcomes are good. Their, their, what would be the outcome of an engineer's college? They will say that I got a job in Google or Microsoft. Then what would those be better? I got a job in Taj. I got a job in Radisson Green, something like that. And I'm, I'm at reception head, I'm chef, I'm cook chef, I'm breakfast chef, I'm something of that kind. There will be expertise of that. So second option is hospitality of many kinds. And then there are, there, but I would like to go on here for, and there are some things beyond engineering as well which is coming up as starter. If at all you are not an engineer, but having an engineering idea, you can execute and make your own company and execute through the different buildings which are possible. This is one more thing possible. Other possibilities do exist which I try to warn everybody that be prepared for not for one job a month. Be prepared for multiple jobs. Now, I will tell an example of doctors, and I will, this is at one end. Doctors, a good doctor is always visiting. He will visit Krishna Hospital, he will visit Sayyadri Hospital, 
Good afternoon. In the evening, he will have his or her own clinic. So he has done three jobs. What would an Uber Uber driver do? He keeps two mobile phones. One for Ola, one for Uber, one for his own, and one for some society. Now urban company has come up. If you are, if somebody is a plumber, register himself or herself as plumber in urban uh, urban company, and then register yourself as a plumber in your society, and have your own shop. See, we have to come out of the classical mentality which are thrown to us that get a job and then get a job. No. Jobs availability itself is changing. And we will be in any graph where I will be a doctor, uh, sorry, I will be an electrical engineer on Monday, civil engineer on Tuesday, and electronics engineer for the rest of the day. It would happen. This multidisciplinary tasking would come. Although <coughs> oversaid, but there are things beyond engineering. If you happen, with my limited understanding, I have told, if you happen to see some uh, some people who have particular, if you have some interest in some field, do ask such questions of that field to that expert and explore what is the possibility in this. It does exist. I, I must tell you one thing that the fees of some humanities based colleges is more than engineering. Some Delhi based colleges have, I have come across who charge more than engineering for BA degree. So they have special training in those, but they are going to take very few number of students. And they train them differently. So things have gone beyond. Cut off maximum very high. No? Yes. Very cut off maximum very high cut off. Are very high cut off. Every day requirement is high. You see, whatever I have told that, like, all the things have reached means history of institutes. And very good people only get selected. Whatever you try to do competition, that exists. So thank you. Nice that you could hear and you could bear me. So thanks again. Thank you, sir, for enlightening us with your intelligence and knowledge. I will highlight some of the points discussed in the session. Sir, elaborated to that, there are institutions other than IIT, like NIITs, ICER, even we have ICER in Pune, very near to us. Sir, talked about the industrial revolution. The Correct, the correct industrial revolution happened in just five two years, and that came because of the internet, I would uh, Sir, define it. The, sir, here the definition of success. Success is related. And also, how do we measure the success? Sir, also explain all the things with a very simple and lucid language that our students will understand. Even we have students from 6th standard and 9th, 7th standard. So they understood the answer as well. Sir, also explain the importance of sports and in one's life and mental health. Nowadays, today, we are having a lot of issues about mental health. Right? Sir, also highlighted that point. And lastly, sir, came to the conclusion of startup. Nowadays, we listen so many, we see it on YouTube. All are putting their videos on YouTube and they are learning. So, sir wants to basically point out that we prepare, but maybe the hidden issue, I may be wrong, sir. Maybe not, you don't rely on government. Be prepared for the private education. Be prepared to work in a private company. Okay, I, I mean uh, that you have support from everybody. Every say it's an ecosystem. Earlier there was only system. Now we have transformed to the fact that we have system plus ecosystem. So government doesn't exist. It will exist always. Yes. But the point is that only government was helping. Now ecosystem is also helping. Mainly now recently our Tata has helped very young person for his start. So people are there who will help startup. But startup, again, startup has issues of sustainability. So people think that if I do, I have found out one thing and then I can learn four crores, but that's only for three years. After that, then for that learnability, you have to be on your toes every time. And sustainability, if it is there, then only startups will become any one. Thank you, sir. This was an eye opener session. Thank you, sir, so much for coming here and giving us a valuable time. So, uh, I request uh, Ms. Anisha Kumbar of Grade 11 to propose a word of thanks. Thank you, sir. Happy afternoon to all. I'm Anisha Kumbar here to propose a word of thanks. I extend sincere thanks to today's chief guest, Mr. Vinayak Kulkarni, sir, to, for sharing his 
knowledge and experiences with us. Thank you very much, sir. I express my heartfelt thanks to respected principal, sir, for his unwavering support to shape in our educational journey. Thank you, sir. Special thanks to Vice Principal Ma'am for leadership and guidance. Thanks to all the teachers and council members and students for active participation to make our living, uh, living experiences richer and more meaningful. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.